Well, hello there. How's everybody? It's good to be amongst friends. And I see lots of friends in the chatter box. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. I have so much mail. <laughs> and it's big mail. It's not little mail. So I hope you like mail call because there's some good stuff sitting here. I I even had two box, two of those extra holder things I had to open up. You guys are too nice to me. You're just too nice to me. Let's get going, huh? This is In Review. I'm Mary Gunn, your intrepid host of Craft Roulette, which is the first part of In Review. Craft Roulette, you say, what is Craft Roulette? I bet you could all say it with me. Someday you'll have to have a recording of me saying it and you could just lip sync it. <laughs> yes, what is Craft Roulette? It is the original Ultimate Paper Crafting Card Making Game Show Challenge. And we are live almost every Friday evening with a seat right here for you. But this is P Craft Roulette Part Du. And this is where we feature you, our card contributors, and um, play a little game called Who Done It? It is a fast-paced, interactive card detective game show, and it's a lot of fun. I think it's, I've got an easy one tonight. Oh, Gloria, you're in Hawaii. Woo hoo hoo, aloha. This is, this is the, <laughs> you can do a dance about making the card. Yes, in a grass skirt. We don't want anything but coconut shells in a grass skirt and your little hula dance on how to make a card. Yeah, that would... No, it is not snowing here. It's, it's cold, but it's not snowing, and it is... Ugh, I was out today, and it was... We were all, like, in shock how cold the air was. But anyway, I am Mary Gunn. I'm here tonight to do three-part show. We have mail call. Like I said, it's fantastic. You're going to love every second of it. You guys are spoiling us. Um, we have card show case where we're going to talk about some of your cards that are in the showcase or in the gallery for this week episode 208 then we are going to play yes who done it so stay tuned you never know what's going to happen around here this is a very relaxed show we always like to start though with an exceptionally bad dad joke because we like laughing around here we're really we're really a bunch of goofs, and that's okay. I'm okay with that completely. There's the one from last week. Oh, yes. This one, this one, boy, could happen around here on the highways. Um, I can see this really happening. Even on a cold day like today, especially like at a Chiefs game or a Royals game, this could really happen. So why did the girl, who may have actually done this, smear peanut butter on the road? It seems like a waste of peanut butter to me. I sure love that stuff. <laughs> Had a peanut butter sandwich for lunch. It was delicious. But why did the girl smear peanut butter on the road? Do you have any idea? Well, I'll tell you. It was to go with the traffic jam. Yeah, that's kind of a groaner. That's kind of a groaner, isn't it? Oh my gosh. That was I liked it. I love peanut butter more though. Um did a little broke up. I had a a bag of crap or um close to my heart memories in a sack in various various stages. They were like, "Okay, I'll do this and show my customers. I'll do this, I'll show my customers. I'll do this and show my customers." But then it was never like I ever finished it. So, I broke it all up last night. Partial 12 by 12 layouts down and um, made a little stack of things that are, well, this one's not close to my heart. This is, this is, if you've never done this, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, crafters and craftettes, this is a great little scrapbook to make for you. And it is just my girlfriends over the, over my lifetime. I mean, my best buds, my besties, my BFFs it is like one of my favorite, favorite things. So I'm just going to throw it on the floor. But that is a great scrapbook to make, and I hope you will make one for yourself because it is nice to remember the people that have supported you all through your life. Um, the other two are um, little close to my heart albums. So, yeah, lots of fun stuff. Nothing fancy, but we need to get busy. So let's go to tell you who's our spin sponsors this month because if you are sending in a card this week, 
you will be eligible for these fantastic spin sponsors. Waffle Flower is giving away a gift certificate. The Rabbit Hole Design is giving away a voucher. That's a California law. They can't say gift certificate or it's a, a deal. Glassboard Studio will be giving away a close or a craft roulette a glass board here in the United States to somebody each and every week. And your paper insider will be sending you a box of their fantastic paper each and every week. That one is also just a um, here in the United States kind of thing because they are sending product, not just a gift certificate or voucher. So they need to be mindful of their bottom line on shipping because man oh man you guys found out today shipping can be very very high even though if it were to up to me to go deliver these things it would be even higher so i'm real glad for the efficiency of the post office and yeah that's okay i think they're probably oh no don't see all the secrets i never want you to see such secrets i know they are great sponsors and if you are new here, we give away oodles of prizes, <laughs> oodles of prizes every week to people that have sent in cards, which you're going to see later in the show as well. Um, we have a little challenge here, and it is just, a, but it's a ton of fun, and you get to play along and um, send in cards as well. Mary Slominski in Nebraska sent this cutie pie card. Oh, thanks. So, look how she... Oh, that's really a good-looking card. All the details she added here. She's got the little gem. She's got matching ink. She's got a beautiful little geometric embossing folder. A nice mat. She's got a monkey. Mrs. Card Monkey. Wouldn't you like that little card coming your way? And he even has a banana. And I had a banana today, too. So that is really sweet. She, um, this is a thank you because she won. Oh no, it's way underneath. She won one of our Craft Roulette Con Creative Companion books from when the only week we were planning on giving these away. And she's like, I love it and I want to fill in all of her weeks. <laughs> so she's going to. Plan on getting some more so she can fill in all the weeks on her little craft roulette journey. I think that's very, very sweet. Kind of like, you know, a little a little scrapbook of your own art I, and your own thoughts. I think it's grand. So thank you, Mary Slominski, for saying thanks in with such a cute way, too. Let's see, where can I put all this stuff? Okay, so, you know... If you haven't heard, and <laughs> you're kind of new here, you may have heard about this little fellow that has come into my life and takes my breath away. His name is JD. He is about two and a half weeks old now, and he's not getting any uglier. He is just so cute. And I am getting gr um, grandma cards, congratulation cards, and they're so cute too. I can't, I'm looking forward to taking these over and showing Joanna and Joel. But this is a cutie from Donna Shilkuski, and she says, "Congrats, co congratulations on your new grandchild." And then she writes a very, very sweet note. Um, very, very sweet note. I was very touched by it, Miss Miss Donna. Thank you so much. Um, good looking. Oh, you bet. <laughs> it is. No, I didn't really expect him to get uglier. But oh my gosh, I didn't think he could get that much cuter. He did some belly laughs um, while he was sleeping the, um, Sunday, and it was just the darndest, cutest thing. This is a little shaker, though. She's got lots of pretty little clear sequins. Don't those look good? And she's got this popped up nice and high so that you've got plenty of room for lots of good shaker ac or sequin action. Look, she's got her back mat, and then she's got that in her die cut. So you don't have to fuss. Oh, you had, this is like one cut. This is monochromatic, you know? It's monochromatic except just in different lighter and darkers. That's pretty easy. You know, don't be fooled by colors. Colors are not that hard. Uh, J.D. does stand for his great-grandfather's Jack, and my husband is Douglas, so he was named after family members. 
cute little onesie, very, very sweet card. You did a great do job, Donna, and you touched my heart very much. Thank you so much. We are enjoying the little guy. <laughs> we are. He's so sweet. Oh, that belly laugh. It was almost too much. I almost melted on the floor. Susan, a cherry sent this gorgeous card. Look at that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, crafters and craftettes. That is just one good looking card, isn't it? Spring itself. All right, are we ready to pick it apart? <laughs> That's for the, there's your moment of, oh, oh, now let's get down to the weeds. She's got, <clears throat> pardon me, white on white. White. On top, the mat is embossed in a very pretty viney kind of leafy thing. She's got another white in, uh, white dike or punch probably for the mat for her focal point. And then the focal point has a lot of white as well. Then she added a beautiful bow, grow grain. Yes, if you've ever wondered if it's grow grain or gross grain, it's grow grain. And, but it's a real soft soft one. Sometimes those can be pretty unwielding. They can be pretty, have a mind of their own. And then she's got a pretty little thanks a bunch in the same pretty peachy colors. That's so pretty. Look how pretty those are. There's like, again, you've got the two different hues, uh, saturations of the one color, very effective. Then one green and one little accent gray. I wonder, I don't know for sure, but I, I'm thinking that charcoal gray is a great choice because I think black might be a little too sharp with this soft card. The soft card comes from the way the, the flowers are inked and the gentleness of the pretty embossing. Hmm, nice. And she carried it through to the inside, too. Isn't that pretty? Mm, 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 mm. I think she did a great job. Every little kindness makes the world brighter. And she carried in the pretty little inking. She, little, little sweet touches and wrote also a very, very sweet note. All the little touches that make a card so special. She, was, she got her mug club. And so this, is, <laughs> this was her mug club. Thank you. <laughs> very good you guys are too nice i am not good right now i don't know at sending thank yous but I d it doesn't mean i'm not grateful it just means i'm not very polite um joe henderson sent this one from las vegas there's the jd right there there it is and it says welcome little one it's a onesie little onesie and it's a shaped card. How cute is that? Ah, uh, and so precious that little that little plaid, and then she's got die cut around there. She's got this popped up. She's personalized it with JD himself. This is so adorable. And then she's got the little snaps. <laughs> you didn't forget a thing, Miss Joe. You all. I think you're here tonight too. Um, you also put a little shimmer around here. So you've got so many subtle details that make this so beautiful. This has a pattern in it, and it's, it's smooth. And then this is just so pretty. And look at those details. It is a very, very, God bless your new baby. Indeed, amen. Very, very sweet. Made just for you with love by Joe. That's a nice thing. And then she put this little pretty piece of paper on top of it so that it wouldn't be damaged. Smart, smart girl, Joe. Thank you so very much. And my last card before I start getting to the packages. Oh, Gloria, look at there. How'd you have time to do this before you went to Hawaii? Look how cute that is. Do you have any kind of stamps that have just little kids' clothes or little shirts and things? Look how you can just draw a little um, clothesline. Much cuter than hanging clothes. How come, clo how come cards just are so much cuter than the actual event? I mean, the alligators are cuter on cards. Hedgehogs are cuter on cards. 
laundry is cuter on cards. Dust bunnies are cuter on cards. They're all just so much more charming on cards. Maybe that's why we like it so much. Anyway, look, she put three or four, I can count, four little lines of real dark blue that go with the little outline that she used, ink. And these are teeny strips. That's a nice, a nice little touch. Teeny strips of cardstock. And then she also has the border with that matches. And, but some little pops of yellow booties. That's really, really sweet. <laughs> and it says, welcome baby boy and more laundry. They were, um, talk, his parents were talking about how much laundry this kid goes through. <laughs> yep. Good thing all the stuff is really little, huh? Yeah, that. That baby's clothes are, they're so tiny. And he was outgrowing one of his little newborn outfits the other day, Sunday, when I saw him. And my daughter was um, all very sad, very sad. So it was kind of hard to see him outgrow something. This is from Carrie Lee, from that um, Giletto, who will be on the show in June, I think. And she sent this pretty little card in that a nice scene. She does a lot of videos for Whimsy Stamps, who is one of our frequent spin sponsors. And she, I think she does those on, I'm not going to say, but she does them on the Whimsy Stamp um, channel. And she's very talented. We got, I got to know her. Um, I got to know her during a member's call or a patron's call. She did a showcase with me. And it was very delightful. She was just a delight, a very, very nice woman. But she sent these books. She said she bought these books at a boutique or a little gift store. And she thought she was going to use them, and she never did. So she sent them my way. And I had all sorts of ideas on how to use them. Now, whether we'll get there or not, we don't know. They may end up in a couple sheets at a time in a goodie bag. But... Or an itty bitty gift, but they sure have pretty, pretty loads of ephemera and bunches of botanicals. Ooh, aren't those pretty? They're all stickers, and then they have this pretty paper in the on the back too. <laughs> you know, you can't waste a thing. So I, I, I don't know. I'm thinking I might do some, have some fun times with these, and maybe even teach a thing or two. You just never know. I might. I had all sorts of ideas as I was sitting on the couch watching Ryan Hall y'all, and I hope you're all safe in in Tennessee and all those places that are getting some bad weather. But thank you, Miss Carrie, for thinking of me. Oops, I hit the microphone. Sorry. Package one. Package two. From the house of Detizio. Mr. Mike's got some new outfits. <laughs> yes, they are stickers, Miss Cindy. Such pretty snickers, snickers, stickers. Who had a snake in their house? Oh, no thank you, ma'am. I guess um, Arlene Detizio of the House of Detizio has discovered a new talent. I don't know if it's new or not, but looky there. She cut up a shirt. She said she liked the shirt, and it was hard for her to do. <laughs> so she cut up a shirt, though, and I hope it fits him. Um, and then, you know, it's cold here. So and she, the thing about Mr. Mike's clothes is he has to have Velcro or some kind of opening because you can't fit it over his head. So it has to open and fit on, fit on him. So he's got a short one and a long one. She sent a purple, oh my goodness, a purple, I can go back out a little bit, my goodness, a purple scarf that's very pretty. Look how she did that. Has some little fibery things. That's real, real nice. She said I could use it for Mr. Mike or me. <laughs> pretty cool. And then she sent a little baby hat for JD. We could pull that off all over his face. <laughs> I don't think he'd like it, but you know what? If you did that one up a little bit more, he'd look like a fisherman. He could go out and sing shanty songs, but he's uh, he'd look cute. 
I think that's just real soft. It's very soft and very sweet and really, really appreciate you thinking of us all. And um, you're just, and I've said it before, Arlene, I won't tell the secret that you're really a very sweet woman. I know you like your ordinary persona, but you're a very sweet woman. Thank you. Mr. Mike, it's going to look like a million dollars. So will JD. Okay, this one made me laugh. Package number three. This one made me laugh. Looky there. The dreaded, <laughs> the dreaded paper clip. There it is. Didn't dread. It's not so dreadful after all. We've found paper clips everywhere. This is from our friend April, who was one of my guests, mystery guests for the member show. Sweet woman. Very much enjoy her. She is the reigning champion on Craft Roulette Trivia, too. Very sweet girl. Oh, I'm going to yawn early. It's been a long day. Sorry. Crafty goodie bag. Look how cute this card is. She has one of our stamp sets, and I'm not sure if she has the die set, but she might. But this is the basic stamp set that we have with some of those pesky parameter um, <laughs> we've had over the years right there on the card. I think it's great. And then the crafty goodie bag. I never thought of it as a brown bag because I know what I put it in. And I put it in a pink plastic sack. <laughs> and so I didn't. Oh, thanks, Mary Youngblood, for being in unity with me and yawning. Um, I, appreciate, I appreciate your sisterhood. Um, anyway, the crafty goodie bag with Kerwin's head. I think this is just darling. Sweet, sweet message. She's a sweet, sweet girl. You gotta love it. When, you know, who... Don't we go out in public now and see parameters? We've got parameter glasses on, and we see all these parameters everywhere now. <laughs> I know. It's pretty kooky, isn't it? That's a cool stencil. I I don't know if that's going anywhere. I may need it. I may have to put I may have to put uh paper clip back on. I will do it sneakily though. You may not ever even know. Okay, this one is a sweet, sweet thing. I already opened everything. Made sure there wasn't anything I needed to eat. <laughs> you want paper clip back on? You know, we wouldn't be bored? I wonder when, how long ago that was. The hit, Sisterhood of Crafty Yawns. I like it, Kamado. <laughs> we, we could all be yawners. The yawning channel. Has anybody got that? I don't know. We could do we could have another we could have another one. Julie Radu sent me this darling card. Mm. This is a good card design, don't you think? With the three, you could do three squares, three triangles, like a top triangle, and then have another triangle the other way, and then a triangle that way. Um little colored paper or some or some, you could even do it with some ombre stuff or do some, oh, you could do watercolor stripes and stuff like that. Then she's got some embossing up here. Look how she put her little uh, embellishments. I never thought of that up, up high like that. This is a little, I don't know what that's from, but that is a little piece of ribbon that has baby embossed on it. And she Popped it up on a little banner, too, which has popped up. Man, you are very careful. You put a lot of dots under there, Julie. Oh, that was nice. And then the, the paper's all textured and very, very pretty. Very sweet little tiny, tiny in images. Is this the Trinity one? I think it might be. Back on. Okay, I know Trinity's got a little baby one, and there's some, yes, it is, and it's got teeny tiny stuff. Look at there, Trinity. Uh, Trinity has a craft roulette inspired stamp set and die set. I don't know if the stamp set's inspired by us, but the die set that goes with it is, and it's got a teeny tiny little onesie and a duck and a heart and a star and a bib and some really really cute little sentiments. Then she put congratulations inside, and that's a die cut. 
Very, very sweet note. Thank you. And um, then she made this adorable little drop down keepsake. Wow. And she's even got the little places for the numbers for the cards or the photos. Look at that. Hi, Michelle. I was thinking about you this morning. I liked your yellow pull up your yellow envelope where you pulled out your card. It was very pretty. But that is very special. Look at oh, I didn't see the elephant on the back. There's a party everywhere you look on this. That is so sweet. I I'm sorry, I don't know where she got these instructions and I am so bad at this kind of project. I won't be sharing it, but it's got little pockets. I am really, actually, I'm not that bad at these kind of products projects, but they never look like this. They always add, subtract, change, and I get confused about the numbers. So, but the, what a cute, cute little thing! I love the light blue and yellow together. It's super pretty. Oops. I think this is a little magnet. Yep, little magnet. Very, very sweet keepsake indeed. Thank you, Miss Julie Radu. I don't know how many packages we've had now. I don't know. But that is a really cute set, and it goes really cute with the, her little die set that is a Craft Roulette-inspired die set because it spins, <laughs> and we spin. And I did make a really cute little card with it. Dust bunnies. And a, a washing machine. Anyway. That's a... If you don't have any onesies... And I lost my onesie and I found it. I just found it yesterday. I was so happy. I, I didn't find any more peanut brittle. But I did find my onesie. So that was less fattening and almost as good. Not quite. Let's see. Oh, a couple more. I'm not kidding. This was a... This was a knockout day at the post office. This is a sweet little thing for J.D. and his family. This is from Sue Small Crider. If you know Sue Small Crider because you have been around on uh, Craft Roulette for a while. Look how pretty that little set is. It's going for a goodie bag. Don't you? See, I, the goodie bags are amazing too. So don't, don't think a goodie bag is something. There are at least $50 worth of stuff that you all have sent I've read in every goodie bag. I'm pretty sure. I just estimate it, but it seems pretty good. So if you know who Sue Small Crider is, she does all sorts of amazing little fold-out things and is on the design team of Karen Berniston, who does all the amazing dies for fold-out things. So she sent this beautiful card. It says, Welcome, baby. They look like baby blocks. And then it opens up. I was admiring this but when she had made it and shared it with us. And I got to get it. <laughs> so this, and I'll show it again. Oh my gosh. See the mechanism in there? And um, I'm sure it's a Berniston die. And they always, she's, Karen's been a spin sponsor. So I love talking about her. And a guest and great friend. So um, what was I going to say? They have videos on all of their dies. So you can find out how to make, use them and in in action so you don't have to get a package and go what next they also have instructions if you have good eyesight but there you go isn't that adorable those little contain those little vases i have one almost like that it's so darling sue small crider how did you hold this well how did you not tell me this when i was on a zoom call with you it's so sweet i love it thank you very very much J.D. is just get racking it in. Raking it in, isn't he? I want to have a couple more. But we got we to gotta enjoy it when we have it, right? Got a whole bunch of little itty-bitty gifts. A bunch of itty-bitty gifts. And I love them because they're nice and flat. And I can just send them all over the world. And this cute little card. She did not make this cute little card. I can't, I'm drawing a blank. Who was it? Um, mm, 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 no, how can I draw a blank on this? Linda Wood, I am so sorry. 
Linda Wood sent this. She did. She said she didn't make that, but look, decoy duck right there. How cute is that? If and we have April on the parameter board, so you may want to keep this kind of card in mind. She's got little drops of rain. Can you see the little drops of rain reflections? So cute. And her yellow raincoat is actually a slicker. Whoops, her her boots are going to get wet, though. <laughs> that is really, really cute. Then she's got little puddles of water. She did a little stippling on the duck to give him some texture and dimension, or just texture, probably. Her little cheeks are red. Just really cute. Let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy day. And then she said she used to send stickers to um, a warrior hero fighting big battles. Um, but she isn't doing that anymore, so she shared them with us, which is a very, very nice thing. Let me, we'll just kind of thumb through some of these, and you guys can hope to, to hope to get them. Look at these. They just are so bright and colorful. There's Paddington. There's some, ooh, sunflowers are pretty. Easter eggs. Cheers. Go team. That's dimensional. Butterbeer. <laughs> and knick-knack little heart, or little flowers. Beautiful, beautiful gifts that I will be super glad to share. Thank you, Linda Wood. And last but not least, I really haven't had a whole lot of time to check on this yet, but Lenine Jesse suggested to this company that they look into us about being... Um, a sponsor for Craft Roulette, which is very helpful for us to find people. And um, so um, this is a company. This is from Sally Butler, and it's called Relatively Thoughtful. And it's very, I can't, I haven't opened it. Let's open it. It's got some beautiful looking ephemera. She says that, this Miss Sally Butler says... This is a collection for me to enjoy and utilize in upcoming card making videos. And um, they have, what do they have? So it comes in, ooh. I thought maybe it was one of Grandma Gay's romance novels. But look at there, there's a bunch of cards. Wow, these are gorgeous. I feel like I'm in old Europe or something. But I'm not, I'm just right here in Kansas City. <laughs> but I'm getting taken away <laughs> pretty fast. Looks like Mr. Darcy. Oh, looky, there's Mr. Darcy, if I've ever seen him. Uh-huh. This is beautiful. These are very cool. <laughs> oh, jealousy. You could make up stories, couldn't you? Oh, there we are. You know, if that time, uh, that kind of, well, if the clothes had stretch... If they had stretchy pants underneath and there was electricity and there was running water I, and internet, I probably wouldn't mind living in this, er, this era. But I kind of like all those things. So, man, that's pretty, though. And if we all looked that pretty, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> They're gorgeous. They're like postcards. Wow, I'm going to have to learn more about this, but... Let's take a peek at this. Ooh, that's pretty. Lots of images. Ooh. Ooh, some frames, some papers. Hmm. What do you think, guys? I think this looks like kind of an interesting group that could be a pretty fun spin sponsor to win something from. All right, we'll look into that. What do you think? Tell me what you think. You think it looks good? Yeah, I like I like central heat, air conditioning, <laughs> all those things. Corset, corset. If it has stretchy pant cor, a stretchy pant corset, maybe. <laughs> Very intriguing. Thank you, Lenine jo Jesse, for giving us that that little plug and interest. That's that was a pretty. I think that would be nice for a spin sponsor. That's what I'm thinking. I'm seeing some names that I recognize would use those. Yeah. It was a huge mail haul, Susan Tramper. Huge. 
overwhelming. Yeah. But yes, I see some fuzzy cutting in my future too. Well, let's get on over to the slideshow. My gosh, we had 354 when I looked. Cards that you guys have sent in for episode 208. We did finally didn't get something that made us fat when we <laughs> we didn't get a fattening topic. That was good. And we got joyful card and I'm hearing good things about that. Buggy ride for our colors. Uh, you're taking it all over the place. Sticks and stones. I have no idea you would have so many ideas on that one. Trims and trimmings, no problem. You guys are just doing a remarkable job on these parameters. Let's, that was my card. It does. I liked it better Saturday morning. I didn't give it a lot of love Friday night. I thought it was pretty bad, but I, I, Saturday morning I didn't hate it. So, you know, they're not all going to be your favorites. It's okay. It's okay. It's right. Hey, Grandma Gay. Uh, I thought I got something. I got a romance novel, but I just got romance images. They're pretty. Marika. I always do this to you. So, so sorry, sweetheart. From the Netherlands, she is a zero hero. I think she would like those. Look at those those vi those uh, images that she used. This is her 80th card. She did the fun, the joy fold. Um, she did the buggy ride in the country, and not only that, she took the buggy ride concept and used it on her card, and it's beautiful. Sticks for from the trees, stone in the houses. Some of these are pretty hidden, and I. But you did great, and then trimming all around the card. Very much, very much foo fooey. A lot of these are a lot more foofy, but. Uh, not all. Somebody did, um, what was that, Leslie? <laughs> the thing we were talking about last night. The brooming. The brooming and the shooshing and all that stuff. Oh, gosh. Curling. Somebody did a curling card, so that is absolutely not a foo-foo at all. But that's so pretty. Very, very pretty. Nothing I can say. You cleverly, cleverly did it, except it's just gorgeous. I'm 80 cards. That's impressive. 20 more for Mug Club. Lisa Bailey sent in Lucky 13 from the Jersey Channel Islands. Nice. I know where those are. She has baby toys in buggy. There's another way you did buggy. You did all sorts of kinds of buggies, too. Um, I had no idea there'd be that many buggies. I just thought horse rear and, and stuff like that, seeing out in the countryside. Flamingo legs are like sticks. Gemstones are the flowers. Did use a lot of stretching. Lots of stretching on these parameters. And I mostly just say kudos. I have, I don't know if, um, I do appreciate it when you give me the, the details though, because I don't understand what you're thinking sometimes. You're so, so clever and hidden with your kind of like the whodunit game, always being clever and hidden. Um, trimmed the card and ribbon inside the card. Ah, very smart. Stand tall and be fabulous. What a wonderful sentiment. That's adorable. Looks like you're holding it down with magnets. Yep. You know, flamingo legs are like sticks. I can't argue with that. Well done. Girl on Mac from New Jersey. 21 cards. Look at her stone background in her beautiful window there. And her wood shutters. I betcha, betcha. Wood window, wood shutters. Those are sticks, I guess. That's fine. It is. It is. Those are pretty stones. They're very yellow and pretty. I don't, don't know what kind of stone that is. Limestone that has a yellow wash. The window is a stamp that was trimmed. Very clever. See? You can do it as a verb. You can do it as a noun. You can do it as all sorts of things to make this, make your card come alive and fulfill those four crazy parameters. You guys are too clever. Too clever. Oh, that's a really pretty card, too. Teresa N. from Carlock, Illinois. Never heard of Carlock. Number 41. She's got her outside colors where the bugs are. Okay, so that's your buggy. It wasn't like the tr trot to Boston buggy. It was the buggy buggies that are coming out in this warm weather. I saw the yellow swallowtails are coming out in April in Missouri. That made me very excited. I need to do more um, butterfly plants. 
The stick fell from the tree to the side of the stone bird bath. A stone bird bath. Oh my gosh, Teresa. So smart. And then you have ribbon for your trim. It was fun to get to use ribbon or some sort of tie. I liked it. I think that we don't get a lot of that. And so that was pretty nice to have that. That's really cute. Well thought out and very, very attractive. Thank you. Maria B went to the snowman. We had a couple snowmen and they have sticks for arms. Um, they're stone cold. <laughs> you know, um, I was talking to somebody, a stranger today about this show. And um, I was saying, you know, the people are so nice. I was inviting her to watch the show and I said, the people are so nice. They're, once they find out that you've never been to the show before, they will just give you a big bear hug and you will feel so included. And um, where was I going with this? I don't know. Anyway, maybe she'll join us sometime. But, um, hmm. Darn it, what was it? <laughs> oof, oof. Oh well. Maybe when I watch the replay, I'll remember. Maybe not. Second Joyfold are both requested by Mr. Wheel. Oh, that Mr. Wheel. He is such a bossy kind of guy. Frankenmurth, Michigan is known for its Christmas decorations, which can be viewed by a horse drawn carriage close to a buggy. It's stone cold ride. It's a stone cold ride. Man, I bet it is if it's in Michigan. But that's really cute. I love the the red base for your joyful part. And look at that cat sitting back there. Cute paper, too. I don't mind it. I would think that I wouldn't like it this time of year, but I like it. Really pretty. Very cute and happy. And it's nice. You know, you're, you've are you got one card down for Christmas cards, right? Smart girl. Smurf Murphy, one of our leading ladies, has sent in 169. Ooh, this one's pretty, too. You would like this paper and stuff, Smurf Murphy, from hmm, Relatively Thoughtful. That is pretty stuff. I think we... Ooh. And so are those little ephemera things. I'm so... This will be a new... A new era for me to use this kind of pretty stuff. Look at her stones. I spy with my little eye a pile of stones. Darn, you're smart. You are the smartest people. Oh, I know what it was. What it was was, um, oh shoot. Oh, I said that we just like making cool, cute stuff. And people that just like making cute and pretty stuff generally are just kind of nice people. And so that was what it was about. Go back and to the stranger I was talking to about the show, about how you guys are just really nice people because you just your your whole thing for being here is because you like making cute and pretty things, and generally those people that would do that are nice. So there you go. That's all it was. Man, there wasn't much to it, but it's true. Smurf, nice job as usual. I look forward to having this on the show Friday night. Kimberly D. from Wisconsin, 56. Okay, great. We've got fancy. This is a great gallery for showing how many different styles and how many different ways you can do themes um, and take it different ways. This is a great gallery. Not all snowmen, not all plants. Um, this is great what you've done. The tent and campfire are from Hero Arts. My favorite thing, Stitch Square. I think both of them have has Hero Arts been sponsors. I don't remember. Not, maybe for World Card Making Day. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check into that. I don't remember. Smaller right flap is over the larger left flap. I know the MFT has. I have Amish countryside colors. Very nice. We were talking about that last night on a Zoom call. Campfire sticks and stones. Background stampers anonymous. That's a nice. What, boy, that um, stone background was very handy for you, wasn't it? <laughs> Parameter shopping. <laughs> Blue River trim. Flap, left flap over the joy flap. Yeah. You know, you can do a Z fold and then do a joy flap on top of a Z fold, too. You can take, or a book binding card, and you can do this with that. So you can start building... <laughs> 
fancy fold on top of fancy fold on top of fancy fold, and then you end up with the portfolio like um, that JD got. You know, that's all those are. Those are just fancy folds, smaller versions on top of fancy folds, and not just. But I mean, it's just a combination. Not just. It is a combination that you can have fun with. Don't just take it apart and figure it out. Pat W from Arizona, number 44. That's a very attractive card. Look at her buggy colors are blue, brown, and yellow. Look at that embossed folder. Branches are sticks and jewel stones. Yeah, I think a lot of us use the the um, embellishments for our jewel stones. Embossed tile trim on the left panel. Pretty card. Wouldn't that be a pretty card to get? Songbirds have been so nice lately to listen to. I like it. I like it. Last one, Norma Gwynn Watson from Muncie, Indiana. Her fifth card. Congratulations, Norma Gwynn. That's a, those are beautiful colors. Those look like May May colors. Uh, no, no, they don't. No, no, no. They look uh, the, the another Alabama. I got the Alabama girls mixed up. They look like Tracy Phillips co colors. Very pretty. Those oranges and those blue greens. Mmm, yummy. Black Amish buggies. Birds are black and beautiful. Very, they stand out nicely. They really do stand out nicely. Sticks, branches, stones, round blue embellishments. Trim is crocheted lace. This is a good one, guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful gallery. And not just beautiful, but some really fun, basic, stylish graphic stuff, too. You outdid yourself, and it's not even a <laughs> what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We have so much talent in this group. Ain't it fun? And I love seeing what you guys come up with. I do. There's no one thing that um, is dictated. There's four, four things that are dictated, but they're not very dictatable. They're not limiting. We like to have them nice and open. Yeah, that mustard color was pretty, wasn't it, Shanna? Well, you know what this means. Thank you. Thank you for sending in those cards. If you do like Card Slideshow, we do have a third show, and it is now the members show, and it's a card slideshow, and we review members' uh, cards, not patrons. We are moving off of that tomorrow. As a matter of fact, the big transformation will be happening tomorrow. Um uh, just a minute on that one but we have a mystery guest that comes and joins us and that's always a lot of fun to meet somebody and we just spend an hour or a little bit more talking about your cards the members cards and it's just a lot of fun and a really good learning experience um, to get ideas on card making so that's what we do tomorrow I have I will be recording it with a new member guest and She's a doll. You'll, you'll enjoy her. But for now, it's time for Get in your headspace of all the detectiveness. Get those magnifying glasses. Get those brains, those well-kissed minds working because you have a case to crack. My gosh. I am the worst card mate. I am the worst art thief, apparently in the world but i'm gonna try it again maybe this time i'll get past you i almost got you past you last time it's time for who done it are you ready there we go the object of the who done it game is to be the card detective to correctly solve the case of who done it and provide the clues that cracked the case wide open i will be making a card based on a card from the most recent episodes gallery my project will be inspired by a selected card but it will not be a perfect copy if you've been around here you know it's true that's so true there will be clues in my project but it won't be as easy as finding one match because they could be quite hidden the only thing you can crack is an egg Cindy Elkins. And please don't do it while you're watching the show. Who knows where it's going to end up. I'm referring to her whipped cream story. <laughs> to play the game, you must be present during the live stream to participate. Sorry if you're on the replay, Claru. You need to have the correct gallery on craftroulette.live open to look for clues. Somebody's going to be popping it up there so you can link over to that. 
To solve the mystery, you need to type. Here it comes again. Oh, <laughs> the yawning channel. It's our, it's our subtitle. At Craft Roulette in the chat, followed by the name of the crafter you believe inspired my card and the clue that you found. Somebody else will probably pop that up. Thank you, thank you. Where's my card? There it is. Paula Rice says, oh, there it is. is Mar at Craft Roulette, is it Mary Gun Fun with a birdhouse? Well, close. There's no, it doesn't have a birdhouse, but it would be, I would know what you're talking about. But that's exactly what we need, Paula Rice. Well done. Um, <laughs> if you are the first to solve, this is the big part. This part you want to, yeah, there you go, birds. Uh, this is the part you really want to pay attention to. Because if you are the first detective to solve this tough case that I'm about to present, um, you win something. You win something big, something big, something huge, something amazing and remarkable. Is it the Mount Rush Rushmore? No, no, it is not Mount Rushmore. It is a Krog, a craft roulette, original giveaway, a handmade card with an itty bitty gift. Are we ready? Let's get this show on the road. Hey, Mr. Mike, how are you doing? You been good lately? He opened his mouth. But no words came out. That's how he is. He is the man of all words and the man of no words, Mr. Mike. But he has a lot of clothes. <coughs> what do I hear? Why, it's Decoy Duck. How are you tonight? <coughs> you want to wish everybody a good evening? What? You don't, you don't want to say it again? Oh, come on. Okay, that's better. That means good luck in duck. Okay, well, I gotta get serious. I'm gonna steal some art. Hmm. Did you get it figured out? I don't even know where I'm starting on this. <laughs> that's a that's a good indicator, isn't it? Okay. Here comes some stuff. Let's get out some stuff. Is it stuff I will be using or is it a decoy? Like I'm getting ready for surgery. But believe you me, you don't want me doing that. Okay. What else do I need? Some fancy pants paper from Your Paper Insider, one of our sponsors this month. This one's got a beautiful iridescent sheen. No, aren't those pretty colors together? Ooh. Ooh la 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 la. Okay. I'm gonna get serious. Is that what I want? Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh oh, I lost something. This had something on it. Rut row. Astro, what do you think? Okay. Oh, good. I have a paintbrush here, too. That's very... Oops, it's got ink in it. <laughs> or paint. Oh, that's okay, too. Okay. Here we go. My 99 cents of paints. Going big here. Nothing but the best supplies for me. Oh, I forgot. I was going to do something else, too, on that. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I didn't write my instructions. That's not a good thing at all. Shoddy work, Mrs. Gunn. Shoddy work. 
How do you expect to steal something if you don't write your instructions down for the perfect crime? There we go. Let that sit for a minute. What else do we want to do? Well, if I knew where that thing was, did I drop that? Is it in my... Oh, there's another piece of equipment, but not the stamp. Well, it's a pretty generic stamp. I can find something else. Hmm. Now, if you've been around here a little bit, you probably are thinking, is she kidding? <laughs> is she, is this just a setup? And honest to Pete, you'd be legitimate to ask that. Because it's not always always what I see. Okay. Well, we're going to go to another generic stamp here. Since I lost the first one. But I did find my baby onesie. So, I might find this one still. This not on there. No, no, sure not. Bud. Okay. Here we go. I remember what I did. Well, that's going to be fine anyway. It's kind of cute. It's real cute. How are the guesses coming? Ooh. I only have 350 to guess from. Last week was harder. I didn't mean to have it that green. Got a little robust there. My mind is going to those new that those stickers. <laughs> I'm wondering how I can use stickers, <laughs> but not on this card. But those stickers and those beautiful papers. Okie dokie. That's good for now. We'll go ahead and do this one. This is uh, I thought I didn't know for sure if this sheen, this paper with sheen, would accept ink and not be. Uh, you know, smeary, but it's it's just fine. Because I didn't know if there was like a coating on the top that was less than friendly to drying ink. Sure could be. But it's just ducky. The Your Paper Insider is coming out with a new kit on the 15th. So I'm excited to see what they send. They send such interesting, interesting products. Oh! Do we have a crack pot <laughs> detect a crack detective in our group, do we? Huh? Already figuring it out. Oh. Cool. Okay, we want to sit back and just relax for a minute. I do I do want to do something so that you can see it so you don't have to worry about solving the case. Someone has already done that for you. This is cork. Not very thick cork, but it's cork. All right. That's not quite dry. Go ahead and dry it just a minute. Look at all your good guesses. All right, so we'll pull all these things together. See if you can figure out. Hmm. I think it's time to of the case. I am caught. I am caught. Congratulations to goes to right now. 
let's solve the case. Congratulations goes to... Drum roll, please. Congratulations goes to Kim Bragg, KB1901 KB. She cracked the case because I cased Stacy Cobb, and I don't think she's here tonight. But Stacy Cobb was my inspiration piece. She um, had such a pretty card, and I thought, well, that would be real fun to make. So I did my little. Um, my little watercolor stone background painted a little br branch up the uh, up the front. See, one of the things I forgot was to tape this off, so I forgot. And then made my little butterfly out of watercolor as well. Okay, and there's my cork right there instead of that brown piece of paper that she had. And it opens up, and there's some pretty beautiful green your paper insider. And it opens up like that. And that's my joyfold. So I did have the joyfold. My buggy colors were just things you would see in a buggy. The green grass, green trees, um, horse rump. And for a beautiful, a beautiful brown horse. Um, sticks and stones. I have sticks. And these were my stones. Trim and trimming. I trimmed it with cork. What do you think about that? Um... Uh, mostly it was pretty pretty close to Stacy's design except I changed the size and um, a little bit of the colors I, I, I thought it was kind of pretty easy this time but that's okay <laughs> yeah I was pretty close to her card I think so that's okay congratulations Kim I think it was Kim right Ki Chris <laughs> congratulations Chris you crack the case. Make sure you go to the contact form on craftroulette.live where you also can find, I know her card was pretty, where you can also find 500 or 300 and 50 some other cards that are just begging to be looked at. And then um, fill out the contact form and let me know where to send your card and your crog. You'll get one of my little renditions of Stacy Cobb's card. So that's fun, yeah. Yeah, she gets a prize. She gets a nitty bitty prize. Nothing but high class rolling around here. Uh uh. We're big we're big time spenders. Thank you too. Well, we call them patrons right now, but tomorrow we'll be calling them members. Thank you for our members support team. These are the people that are keeping us on the air. Plus, we give them lots and lots of extra content. And one thing tonight is they will find out how I made my card. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish it and record it and put it in the video library where there are lots of videos. So hopefully that will be fun for you guys to go check out and see how I made my stone wall. I know I've made stone walls like that before and I don't remember how I did it, but I think I can figure it out. This, because it's one of those things they can vary. There's not the one thing, so there's lots and lots of things that we can do. Beautiful, beautiful rolling the member patron footage. Um, so we do have a rollout. It's um, transition time for us to. I don't know where I got that cork, Paula Rice. I've had it for years. I probably at the Dollar Tree. I don't really know. I don't know. It's just rolled up into one of my maybe someday pipe drawers. Since there's no peanut brittle, there's more room for maybe someday stuff. But, um, so the website, craftroulette.life, may be down a little bit while we're transitioning tomorrow afternoon. I, it will be sometime in the afternoon. And then when you open it up, hopefully <laughs> everything will work well. Mr. Producers worked very, very hard on it. I don't doubt that it's going to work just fine. And there you will see new things that you can do. We do have a call scheduled for our members on Saturday at 2 o'clock to describe, to discuss all the changes that we've made and things that you, so you can understand where to find things and get the most out of being a member with our bonus, pro, our bonus content, which there is so much. Um, I think that's about it. Friday night, we get to welcome our buddy, Ardeth, who was also one of my mystery guests on the member show one time. Uh, it looks always fun to see what Ardeth is up to. She's always 
surprises me with some kind of insight. I, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to always have Ardith on. If you've never joined us when Ardith was, I think this is her 10th, 11th time. I don't know. She's almost, she's, um, I am almost get mail for her. She's been here so much, but we love her so much. She is wonderful. Join us on Friday at 610 for the slideshow, 630 for the show. Then next week, back here on Tuesday for more fun. I'm going to make it harder next week. So be ready. I'm not going to go down easy. Appreciate you all for spending the evening with us. I hope your weather is good where you are. I know it's crazy stormy spring. We all wanted spring. Now we got it. Thank you so much. We will see you Friday and take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>